Welcome to Waterline Boats and Boat Shed Seattle. This is a 1976 Ingrid Cutter. With the Aries wind vane um, cutter rigged current tan bark sails, uh, this boat is a very salty statement uh, wherever it goes. She's equipped uh, and ready for long distance offshore cruises. Beautiful, uh, well designed hard dodger on this boat. Schaefer running rigging hardware, stay lock fittings on uh, current heavy duty stainless steel standing rigging, an aluminum mast that is keel stepped in a dry sump. Notice how close together those stanchions are attached to a solid a nice ball works all the way around. The cap rails even have been fiberglassed. We take a look at the four peak area here with the chain locker, a very sturdy pulpit on the bowsprit, a manual bronze windlass, great anchoring system. There are plenty of hatches for light and ventilation as well as the derayed boxes. I'll walk down the port side now. I'm going to look into the cockpit. Notice this uh, stainless steel stack for the diesel heater. Uh, how well protected it is from the flailing uh, jib sheets. Another close look at that uh, stack. And we continue to the uh, Aries wind vane tiller. I like those teak uh, railings added to the stanchions. Extra safety for the cockpit. Main sheet traveler on the bridge deck there. And what a view from this hard dodger. Notice all four corners have stainless steel supports. Next we're going to go below and take a look at the starboard settee and sleeping berth, storage above. The woods uh, on this interior are cedar, fir, and teak. The deck is traditional structure with deck beams uh, to deck carlins and uh, hull carlins, covered with plywood, uh, then covered with fiberglass. There's a double berth to port beautiful woods in this boat. And those elliptical bronze port lights, very unusual for an Ingrid. Generally only see those on the Alawea. It's a rope system for raising the, uh, uh, the, the edge of the berth to get into storage below. There's the Dickinson diesel stove heater and it has a heat coil for uh, the hot water tank. We have a center line sink counter galley space, refrigeration, more counter space, two burner kerosene stove with oven, and then a look at the hot water system. The refrigeration. Double sink, manual water, pressure water, sea water. Starboard side, second set T berth, doubles as uh, seating for the chart table, the nav instruments, and we go forward into the number one cabin, two sleeping berths again, port and starboard, 
storage above and below. Peek into the four-peak uh, head. I really like this location for the head and the shower. The electrosand system there uh, is not operational. There is a uh, holding tank. There is a port side sleeping berth. We're going to get a peek into the keel step, the mast step here in the bilge. Good access to monitor that mast step. Nice door detail into the uh, main salon and galley area. And here we're going to look towards the stern. <clears throat> the batteries are stored under the uh, companionway ladder there. We have uh, access to more electronic uh, controls for the uh, autopilot and the inverter. And we invite you to go to waterlineboats.com or boatshed.com for additional information, detailed specs, and 70 to 80 uh, still photographs of details of this boat. Thank you for viewing our Ingrid 38 Cutter.